right, so here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion Alistair Overeem in D.C. It's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name The Ring. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K-1, Dream Champion, Strike Force Champion, has not held the UFC title, but has competed for it before in his career and will be looking to earn another chance at the championship. High-level striker, but the one thing that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great guillotine choke that he has that he's finished a number of opponents with. the presence of Alistair Overeem. He has graced the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alistair Farid Overeem. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Alex Politan Pereira! Referee Herb Green Dean fight. will handle the action Green. in the octagon. Good. All right, so here we go with the Reem Alice Drover in early round one. More often than not, the judges not needed in nearly 60 pro fights for Alice Drover and we'll see how he chooses to attack this challenge early. execution on that team. Overeem gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Right hand and a left. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Oh! Stay on him! Some more output, at least in the early game.
just misses with the straight right. Oh, if ain't Dutch, he ain't much. Beautiful land there by Alistair Rowe. Oh, landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Rowe. That takedown attempt without issue. The fighters separate. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, nice straight punch there by Pineda. That was a nice fight. Set up those low kicks. On point with that jab today. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. He's landed a solid punch there. Late round action here, and it really has been a prime Alistair Overeem that we have seen all night. This man is coming up on 70 career MMA fights, and he's still getting it done. Well, still getting it done. And still getting it done in the same way, using the striking to really control the fights. He's an amazing striker. He has found success at so many levels. And when he is comfortable, this performance shows you Alistair Overeem is still one of the best in the world. But Ada's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, big elbow. Not sure how many more these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't That's sort of smell right. blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated. going for the finish. Oh, with authority, the body. Which to work 30 seconds to go on the round. Back and forth we go. <laughs> 20 seconds left. There to the body. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight.
Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Leg kick now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Again, that left hook from Alex Pereira. He is in the zone tonight, Charles. I'm surprised you're still standing. Because if Alex Pereira lands that left hook, generally you get a stick. Guys, as far as anyone that we have seen in the UFC middleweight division. I need you to kick now. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Effective jab there by Pereira. Little slip there by the ream. Let's go forward now. Oh, the head kick lands. Keep your hands up. Look at the turtle in that kick. Keep going with that. Just out of range with that left hook. Overeem's limping right now. Clearly, that right leg is causing him problems. The last kick from his opponent appeared to do the most damage. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, a nice straight there. And back to his feet. Strong outside leg kick. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him. <laughs> Just over two minutes to go in round two. Not there. Overeem's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Massive key land from Kai Blinch. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Attack the cut, attack the cut. Oh! And that will do it! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alistair the Ream Overeem. All right, so a big win tonight for Alistair Overeem, sharing a moment now with his teammates. This was a big effort out of the ring tonight, really at his efficient best when it comes to his striking game.